What's up guys, this is Yuan Jin Liu here. In this video, I will give you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install ROS2 on macOS with virtual machines. We will use two distinct virtual machine hypervisors. One is the Parallels Desktop and the other is the VMware Fusion. I'm a big fan of the Parallels Desktop since its performance is second to none, but unfortunately, we cannot use it in this task because Parallels Desktop doesn't support OpenGL 4 for Linux systems. But I've installed everything about ROS2 on the Parallels Desktop version and I will show you the result and why it's not feasible. Basically, the installation steps are identical in both VMware and Parallels Desktop, so let's get started. I've already installed everything on this machine, so we can directly see the results. We can see that the VBOT will automatically start and we wait for it to load. Okay, the loading has finished and we can see that the simulation starts, but it's super slow. It's only 0.06 times of the real time speed because we disabled 3D acceleration. To note, if you turn it on, I believe it's some software issue of the Parallels desktop. It doesn't support OpenGL4, so it, you will see a black screen if you didn't turn it off. But the simulation is really too slow. We have to refer to VMware for solving this problem. Before we start, I need to use the V2Ray to bypass the grid firewall as I said. And after that, I need to... We didn't even have the Veeam, okay, so let's install it very quickly. Okay, I've installed Veeam, and I'm going to modify some of this. I will directly copy it from my another virtual machine. This is basically to set a proxy for the network. Okay, I also need to set a password for the root. So I will do the same for the root so that I can use the proxy. Okay, everything settled and we will follow the steps in the script to install ROS2 on this machine. First, let's check if the locale is correct, it's indeed correct, so I can just uh, bypass these steps. We need to do the update and install these tools. We'll install it quickly. After that, we need to cure this one. This is basically the GPG key. So I need to proxy on. Oh, I haven't sourced it. So I will do the proxy and do the cure. And we can see it's correctly proxied. So the GPG key is already saved here. Then this step, we will create the repository for ROS2 for the apt install to recognize the ROS2's packages. Basically this, this script will do this. It will create a file under etc apt sources list d and a ROS2.list. This is the repository for ROS2. Okay, then we can do an update. And we can clearly see that there will be some ROS2 packages, ROS2 repository, and we should be able to install the ROS Foxy desktop. The Foxy must be related to the 20.04. You have to use the, this version of Ubuntu to correctly install it. This is identified by the focal. Here, if you use some Ubuntu 18.04 then it will not work correctly so there will be 
more than two gigabytes to install so let's wait for it to finish okay the install has finished and we don't need to install this one again because it actually the desktop contains the raw space so we need to source it and then we need to install the following packages we can just uh, step by step okay the install has completed and then we will install the following packages just one by one I believe there will be no problems you can just uh, skip through and just install them all of these packages one by one and after that we need to put the source this one and the other one here into the bash rc and then everything should be fine we can just launch it the source is basically just setting some environment variables and do some settings for the ROS so each time you start a new terminal it will be set up okay there is one more step to do that we need to download the web bolts from from this URL it's just here we need the second version if you're using 18.04 you can use this but it's the, the install steps will be different and I believe the tutorial and all the documents in the ROS 2's official websites already changed to the Ubuntu 20.04 so don't use this version now we can see that I've already downloaded it this is the file I need and I can copy it I can copy it to to my fo my home folder maybe download wait for a moment okay and I can go to the download and we just get the content of the file go okay the extraction has completed and we will move that folder to ROS okay and we can see we can in enter this folder and get the absolute path and put it there we need to set the webboats home variable to let the app let the application find it okay i believe until now we've finished everything we need to do and let's go I need to source it or actually you can just start a new terminal because everything's in bash rc and it will be directly executed now we can launch it by default I believe the 3d acceleration is on in VMware so it should be much much smoother than the parallel desktop version indeed the simulation has started no problem at all let's look at this even bigger i don't know the vm where Fusion doesn't allow me to reset it but no problem you can just uh, see the simulation runs perfect thanks for watching and I hope the tutorial can help you install ROS2 on macOS successfully if you like the content please subscribe to the channel for more awesomeness and see you next time